Assalamu alaikum friends in this video we are going to discuss about the stop valve assembly first we have to insert the components one by one first we have insert a stop valve body before going to assembly we have to remove the shop edges so just go to edit part and apply the fillet at all shop corners then click ok then go to the assembly click update to save the component then we have to further insert a upcoming components just insert a wire seat go to the mate select a yes, cylindrical face of the two components and apply the concentric mate after that we need to apply a coincident mate by selecting a circular face of the two components then click ok insert here remaining components select a valve click open this is the main port of the component such as valve go to the mate and apply the concentric mate select a circular edge of the component then select a corresponding edge at the valve seat then click ok now the valve is occupied the correct position in the body just cross check by using a section view now the valve body, valve seat and the valve is occupy the correct position exit the section view and insert the further components select a cover click open and place it at a required position then apply the concentric mate in between them before that we have to select a two mid planes at your both component and apply the coincident mate then click ok after that you have to apply the concentric mate then click ok select a both circular face of the components and apply the coincident mate then click ok insert the remaining components for assembly select a spindle We have to apply the mate between spindle and your body. Just go to the mate and apply the concentric mate in between them. Click OK. We have to insert a spindle inside the slot of the valve. After that we have to lock it by using a tapper pin or split pin. We have to insert a split pin in assembly at last. 
so we have to make a coincident meet between the spindle and the slot of wall now the spindle occupy correct position in the valve browse the remaining components the color stud show the all necessary edges or axis then we have to apply the mate in between the collar stud and cover select the center axis of thread and collar stud and select here two flat faces in correspondingly and apply coincident mate in between them Now the collar studies occupy the correct position in the body. Just select the mid plane and go for a mirror components and select a collar shirt for using a mirror, then click OK. Now the color should is successfully mirrored. Again we have to insert here remaining components. Select a bridge and click open and place it at a direct position. Play the concentric mate in between the spindle and collar bridge just drag it to upward Now we have to insert here remaining few components for assembly. Just go for mate and apply the concentric mate in between the bridge and the collar stud. Now the bridges occupy the correct position. Next go for insert components. And select a nut. Select the center axis of the nut and collar stud to apply the concentric meat. Then we have to apply the coincident meat in between them. After that we have to select a mid plane and mirror it. Go to the mirror components. Then click OK. Insert your studs. Go to the mate and apply the concentric mate by selecting the center axis of them.
drag the component towards support again we have to apply the mate concentric click ok now you have to drag the component toward upwards then select a distance mate click ok There is a problem while meeting the both components. So I re just repeat the procedure. Then apply the distance meet in between them. Give the corresponding distance and click OK. After that we need to insert a nut. And apply the mate between nut and his stud. And apply the coincident mate between the flat faces. After that go for circular pattern to pattern the stud on the nut and apply number of instances to be produced as a six quantity then click ok after that insert here remaining components one by one Follow the same procedure what we do for previous stud or nut. Give the mate between flat faces of stud and nut. Then click OK. Then we have to mirror the components by using a center plane. Then click OK. At last we have to insert here two more components to fulfill the complete assembly.
Apply the concentric mean between the two parts. Then click OK. In between this part and this part, we have practically applied the fiber packing to arrest the hydraulic leak of the valve. That's why I have to give the distance meet here in between the two components to give the packing practically. Behind the assembly, we have faced some problem practically. We have to give a rubber packing materials like o-ring and gland packing etc. At last we have to insert a hand wheel give a concentric meat between the hand wheel and a spindle change the position then click OK Go to the meat, repeat the procedure. Click OK and drag the component. After that, we have to update the slot meat in between the hand wheel slot and the spindle square. Then apply the coincident mate between hand wheel and the spindle. Now the hand wheel is operate the valve while we rotating it for open and close of valve. Now the hand wheel is rotating by the spindle and carry the valve operation just show for section view for complete assembly what we done here just change the transparency view of body and operate the valve by rotating the hand wheel While the valve is in upper relay direction, the flow is going on. While the valve is in lower position, the flow is completely controlled. Don't forget to add a fiber packing and rubber packing while the practical assembly of valve. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get the regular updates of my video tutorials thanks for watching